so let's see. I just clicked record. So again, the end result is the inside of a room with walls and floor and ceiling and a window and a door. And once again, we're using two point perspective. And uh, as I just said, but I'll say it again now, when you have two point perspective, all of the vertical lines, up and down lines in the real world are also vertical lines on the page. These lines that are horizontal, well, in the real world, of course, they are straight across, but because of perspective, they all go away as they get further from you. Things get smaller as they go away, as they go further in the distance. And this plane, this surface, is all going to disappear down to a one, whoops, over here, this point here. Right, so you can see that this line goes to there. This line goes to there. This line goes to there. Everything on this plane goes to there. Everything on this plane goes to a point over here somewhere. Right, I actually put a dot on my desk. You can take a piece of tape and add a dot. You can create, you, but you sometimes have to create a, a, a space that's not uh, or a vanishing point that is not actually on your paper. So think about doing that while you're working. So how to do this? I am now going to start up Pixlr and show you on a computer what you are doing on paper. Okay, So that's my paper layer. And I should also say that I I'm allowing you guys to use a straight edge for this project. So coming back to my guides. So I wanna make my guides nice and light. I'm on my guides layer. So for this project, you guys are gonna do a horizon. All right, close enough. Um, so that is my horizon. And then I am going to make the corner of the wall that is inside, right? So I'm inside the box, if you remember. And so I need to make the corner of the wall that is inside. So I'm just gonna go with like here. Okay, so I'm gonna put a vanishing point here and a vanishing point here. And now I can just go from here um, so this is the inside of the wall right so maybe this is too long um, to draw this corner of the wall I'm going to use this line but going out this way here's what I mean I'm going to say uh, click there So this is you with your pencil, right? You click on the vanishing point and then you're gonna go through this line out to the edge somewhere, okay? And then you can erase this part because this really isn't the part that you want, right? What you're drawing is the inside of your room. And then same thing here, right? I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to get my brush. You're going to get your pencil. You're going to make a line that goes through this same spot. All right, that's going to have to be close enough. Okay, and I don't really want any of this. So I'm gonna erase this because this is the inside of my room. Starting to see it now? Same thing with the floor. There, okay, so I guess that is my line now. 
So I'm going to erase this and this, all of it. It's just the opposite of making the cube. You're making the inside of a cube. And back to my brush. This is what you're doing with your pencil again. I need to try to go from here through here. And again, this is getting erased. And now you have your horizon. You have the inside of a room. And you are going to make windows and a door. Or a window and a door. Um, this is where it gets kind of fun, right? So I'm going to go to my brush. And you can just start making all kinds of lines coming from this vanishing point. And all of those lines are going to be appearing in your, uh, in your room. So again, this is just pencil lines. You can erase them later. So if I click on this vanishing point now, and then just go out here somewhere, and click on this vanishing point again, and go out here somewhere, this is the line that's going to be that's going to make up that big window. This edge of the window is just vertical. Okay, that's good enough. And then I'm going to make one here. All right, that's close enough too. So now you see my window. So I'm just going to erase the parts of the horizon that would not be visible through my window, but I can keep the part that is. I'm going to erase the parts of my window that are not supposed to be there. Okay, so you see that window now? Same thing with the door, okay? But the door is going back to this vanishing point. Okay, so it's gonna be right in here. So now I just need to make my verticals. Okay. So I can see the horizon through my door. I can erase all this other junk. So this is you still working in pencil. Now you've made a door and a window. And really, that's all you need to do. This is where you're going with your heavy pencil or a pen. And I'm going to go freehand. Um, I can hide my uh, guide layers, right, and see what I've done. Sort of my final. Uh, work so far, but um, I'm going to go back to my guide layer and I'm going to show you how to find the middle. Let's say you wanted to turn this window into a window with lots of window panes, right? There's a really great way to make sure that you do that right, and it's using diagonals. Mm -hmm. Here's what I mean. If you, want, if you need to find the middle of this wall, right, it's not going to be halfway down this line because this is in perspective. Right? The, the line is actually going to be somewhere further to the back side because of the way perspective works. So how do you find that? Well, you're going to use your straight edge and you're going to get your pen or your pencil and you're going to start, I'm going to go with the light color again. Start here, make sure I'm on the right layer. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to click here again and shift. Okay. That is the exact middle of this square, of this rectangle. So if I wanted to make a vertical window pane, I could just go through, start here, and go right through it. Right? And then the same goes for um, this middle here. Right? If I go from the vanishing point through that middle, OK, there we go. That's perfect. All right. So using diagonals, you can find those middle points. And once you find the middle points, I can even do it again here. Shift. That's going to be the middle point of this square. So. I can click there, go through, go down. So much easier with a straight edge. That's kind of close. 
right? And then this would go back to the uh, vanishing point again. Oh my God. Click through there out to, oh, it's probably roughly here. Yep. And then same thing with this square. I'm just drawing a lot of, okay, so this shift and then out to here. Okay, and this will make sense in a second. Go here and then up to there. All right, that's roughly where I want to be. So now I have all my lines for these windows, right? For these window panes. And I can then go back and go to the black, say OK, and just start to draw these freehand, maybe even fix some of the problems that I had. And then when you erase your pencil, you have actual window panes that look okay. Not perfect, but okay. And that's what you're gonna submit. You are going to go back and do more drawings, uh, more art on this in the end. You're gonna use shading and details 